I'm Dr. Bones, that very old doctor with a very new purpose in life, and that's to keep you and your family safe in times of trouble. Well, we have decided to put together a uh, trauma module to go along with our line of uh, various uh, uh, medical kits for, for hard times and uh, WROL situations, and I wanted to show you basically what our trauma kit shows. Now, this is not a kit that you would, that has stuff for uh, colds or has other types of remedies for chronic medical problems, high blood pressure, things like that. This is basically meant to deal with situations in which you are concerned that there's going to be civil unrest and that you are going to have to deal with traumatic injuries. Now what we're going to do is we're going to just open this up and let you know what I, we've got in this bag so that we can tell you some of the things that we think are important for you to have in your bag, whether you decide to buy one of uh, our, the Doom and Bloom uh, bags, uh, home of the Prepper Medical Corps, or whether you decide to price it out yourself and put together a bag that works for you. And here we go. Here you can see that we have a bag that has multiple compartments, and we're going to go through the compartments one by one. Let me just open this up a little bit better. Good. Okay. And you see, of course, that you need to have gloves. Now, it always makes sense to have as much of this stuff po as, as possible in plastic bags just in case things get wet. And so most, most of the stuff that you're going to see here is wrapped in some kind of plastic. Here you see your EMT shears or bandage scissors, and, and this is what you use to cut uh, away clothing so you can get to people's injuries. You have a scalpel here so you can uh, use that for the same purpose if necessary or to remove other material. You have a pen light, you have Vaseline so that you can put together with some of our gauze dressings that are in here and, and put together burn uh, dressings. You have some hydrogen peroxide to, to clean wounds. You have a, a irrigation syringe so that you can squirt in sterilized water or saline or, or iodine. Uh, mixed with water to clean your wounds. You have some eye wash here. Here you have triple antibiotic ointment. It's very important to put those on wounds that you either have just sutured or uh, wounds that are, are relatively mild but are, are at risk for infections. Here are alcohol swabs. Here are hydrocortisone cream to help decrease inflammation. Here's some ammonia inhalants uh, so that you can identify when someone is uh, has just fainted or whether somebody has some worse type of injury that has caused them to become unconscious. Here you have iodine wipes, all sorts of various band-aids, a tourniquet, uh, you have a neck collar here, you have uh, a number of various ACE bandages, ACE wraps here. Here you have uh, an Israeli battle dressing, which is a very popular item and one of the best compression, compression bandages on the market. Plus some hemostatic agents like c -Lox and even cayenne pepper, which is a natural hemostatic agent. Here you'll also find uh, solar blankets or space blankets, and I'm four of those. You have four, um, uh, reuse, uh, four um, ice packs that are also very, very, very helpful. And let's see what else we have. Well, we have ABD pads, eye pads. You have the eye wash here, and you'll see some eye pads here. Always try to put the various things that you're likely to use close together in your pack so that you can identify them easily and use them very quickly. If somebody gets an eye injury, you'll know the eye pads are right next to the eye wash. Here are some ABD combine pads, which are sort of thicker dressings that you can put on top of, of various gauze. Here's some triangular bandages, which you use to make slings. And you could even use them to, to make a, uh, uh, improvised tourniquet, although you, you have a tourniquet right here. Moving over here, you see you have various other compartments, and here you have lots of roller gauze, otherwise known as Curlex or, or Cling bandages. And uh, here, this is very important, you've got to immob immobilize injuries, and so here are some SAM-type splints, and, and these you can actually cut and make them, honestly, whatever shape or size that you want them to be. Here is your blood pressure cup and it has a stethoscope with it. Over here on this side you'll see a suture tray. 
So you have st stitches, uh, scalpels, you have uh, suture instruments, and of course you have uh, drapes so that you can put together a, a good reasonable field. Here are sterile 4 by 4s and here are non-sterile 4 by 4s You get about have about 200 of these for every 20 or 25 of these and of course you have sterile gloves if you're going to be working on anybody's insides. Now of course some uh, types of injuries are best treated by using non-stick uh, dressings and these are what are called Telfa non-stick pads and those are great for burn injuries or uh, bad scrapes, avulsions. These are, are bandage uh, or blood stopper bandages and they're basically uh, two roller bandages that you can roll around and around and they uh, help provide some compression to the area. And of course, for the really big wounds, you have big trauma dressing. These are uh, 10 or 12 by 30s and you've got more than one of these. The, the amount of actual gauze, you notice how much gauze there is here. Interestingly enough, this gauze could take, uh, take care of a family for a very long time or it could be, all this gauze could be used up with one, just one injury. So it's very important for you to have as much of this as possible. Remember that you can never have too many medical supplies. That any additional medical supplies that you might have are going to be excellent, excellent barter items. So if you think that you have more than you need, which honestly I don't think that that's really possible, but if you do think that you have more than you need, you'll always be able to find someone who's willing to trade other things you need for them. So this is our trauma module. This is uh, something that I think is very important. We have it for our family, every member of our family, every member of our group is uh, equipped with this and this is especially useful for the survival medic. So for uh, Nurse Amy and uh, the doom and bloom hour uh, and of course the preparedness radio network uh, we are at www.doomandbloom.net and we hope to see you again in a future video take care